Next to the race for the White House, guns at the center of the debate tonight. Donald Trump saying Hillary Clinton's stance on guns means she does not deserve Secret Service protection. This a day after his big meeting with the NRA. Clinton tonight holding a meeting of her own with victims of gun violence. Here's ABC's David Wright with the latest War of Words. One day after locking up the NRA endorsement, Crooked Hillary Clinton is the most anti-gun, anti-Second Amendment candidate ever to run for office. Donald Trump aimed an outrageous tweet at his likely Democratic opponent, suggesting her Secret Service detail lay down their weapons. Crooked Hillary wants to get rid of all guns, and yet she is surrounded by bodyguards who are fully armed. No more guns to protect Hillary. It's an idea he first raised in the NRA speech. Let's see how they feel walking around without their guns on their bodyguards. Clinton has made reducing gun violence a centerpiece of her campaign in ads such as this one. She is the only candidate that has what it takes to take on the gun lobby. But she's never said that gun ownership should be banned. She has called for stricter background checks, more accountability for gun manufacturers, and stronger efforts to keep guns away from terrorists, violent criminals, and the mentally ill. Tweeting, you're wrong, Donald Trump. We can uphold Second Amendment rights while preventing senseless gun violence. Tonight, she's the keynote speaker at an event with mothers who lost their children to gun violence, including Trayvon Martin's mom. Her son killed by George Zimmerman in 2012. Clinton's views on guns have remained pretty consistent. Trump's, not so much. In the past, he's been critical of the gun lobby. And while he told the NRA he'd get rid of gun-free zones, he might have to start with some of his own properties. Cecilia?